everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today to do a really fun fairy loot unboxing, and that is gonna be a collector's edition, and I'm super hyped about this. This is actually gonna be the finale collector's edition for the series of Caraval. They offered to send me their finale box because they know that I've been reading the Caraval series, and I'm so excited to open this up with you guys. I've never actually seen a Fairy Loot collector's box edition or anything like that, so I'm really excited to see how they do it and the items that are gonna be in here, and I just can't wait to share them with you guys, so let's get this show on the road. Hello, this is post video Brittany trying not to spoil you of everything in the box, but I totally forgot to mention that there might be some mild spoilers for Caraval and for Legendary in this box. Obviously these are items that are curated after both of those novels have been released. So I will do my best at not spoiling much, but there are going to be names given and things like that. So if you're sensitive to any sort of spoiler, I would just wait until you've finished Caraval and Legendary and then come back to this video and check it out because I will say I love this box. It was absolutely incredible and stunning and amazing, so please come back because you're gonna want to see what's in it. You're just gonna want to see it. So, yes, goodbye. Oh, also, just to start, I love the burgundy fairy loot. Like, this is so stunning, and I love how huge this box is. It is ginormous. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me grab another like an old fairy loot box. So this is their anniversary edition box, and this is the <laughs> collector's edition box. It's a big boy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Um, also, my arm is getting tired, so we're just gonna leave it right here. I love the burgundy! Oh, and it's a different quote in here! We always have the dragon quote, and this one says, Those who don't believe in magic will never find it by Roald Dahl. Wow, okay, I, I just am already really excited. This is the little kind of spoiler card, so it says finale, the collector's edition in collaboration with Stephanie Garber, who is obviously the author. Okay, I'm not gonna look at this, obviously this is kind of like a spoiler card, so... Wow, there's a lot in here. Lots of information. Let's get in. Okay, so the first thing that I see in here is a book sleeve, and it's massive, guys. Okay, let's see if A Court of Mist and Fury can fit in here, because we all know this is a big boy. It's massive. I know that they actually recently included another book sleeve in one of their boxes. I think it was actually the last box. It was also really huge, but this one feels even bigger. They're probably the same size. So it's a huge, huge book sleeve. It's really nice. It's soft on the inside and like very bendy and it has legend on it and he looks fantastic. I love how magical it is. I love that Caraval is like his suit and he just looks so freaking cute, guys. And this was designed by at T-A-R-A-T-J-A-H and I'm really excited that they got her to do legend for this because Obviously, it's stunning. Wow, I don't know where to start. Let's start with this. So, the first thing that I'm gonna grab for you is these pins. These are Fairy Loot exclusive, and the top hat was designed by Dustin Pages, and the article is designed by Icy Designs, and they're so pretty. I love it. The top hat says, remember, it's only a game, and the article says, everyone gets one impossible wish. Well, this is definitely going on my pin flag. Okay, okay, wow. I'm just so excited, guys. All right, let's grab this thing next, because it looks like a little action figure and it is it's a legend collectible figurine and he's so cute and so sassy I honestly I don't have that much use for figurines I don't normally collect them but this would actually probably look pretty cute on my bookshelf like right next to Caramel and all that so this is him outside of the box was I supposed to keep him in the box no right okay it's fine oh gosh He's so cute. Let's grab this candle because I'm dying to see what it smells like. And the candle itself is like this pretty blue sparkliness and it says that it's scents are flowers, magic, and spring rain, which already sounds like something I'm going to love. I love clean smelling candles. They're probably my favorite scents, like besides the fall scents. In the fall, I really like sweet smells like cinnamon or vanilla or caramel, but at all other times, I really like like fresh candles. And it's called the Midnight Maze Candle, which is a seven ounce soy wax candle inspired by a scene in Finale. It's hand poured by Bookish Burns and the label is designed by Navarin Tail. So 
That's cool. Let's grab this. Oh my God, it's a mug. I am such a mug hoarder. Oh wow, this artwork is stunning. And it's definitely Donatella and Scarlet. It's so shiny and so pretty and I'm so into this. I love it. And the print like that they did on the mug actually turned out really well. It's not very grainy at all. It's so stunning. And I love that it wraps all the way around but isn't the same art all the way around. And it was designed exclusively by Saul Tees with lettering by Katerina Book Designs and it's the Caravelle Sisters mug. I love this. It's so high quality. Let's grab this big plushy boy because I'm so excited to see it. I'm loving all the items in here because as you guys know, my favorite items to kind of receive are pins, candles, mugs, and last but definitely not least, blankets. Blankets are my one true love in life. If you watched my Christmas haul, you know. Wow, it's so plush. It is such a fluffy blanket, guys. I, can't, I don't even know if I can get it all in the picture. Sorry. This is stunning. This, oh my God, the print on it is fantastic. It doesn't even look like it's a blanket. It just looks like a beautiful tapestry that happens to also be very warm. I can't show it all to you. I don't even know how to show it all to you. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, so we have Legend and we have Donatella and then we have Scarlet and we have Scarlet's boo and then we have this blonde guy that I'm not really sure who he is, but I'm sure he's important. Oh, don't you love my my detailed summaries of things? I'm sure you do. So the art is by the amazing Monolime Art and it's just so freaking stunning and it's huge. Let's look if it's in this cute thing because it's all wrapped up in like newspaper, which is very intriguing. What? <gasps> They're magnetic bookmarks. Oh my gosh, and there's a few of them. What the heck, this is so cute. Oh, I'm pretty sure he was like, oh, I remember who the blonde guy is now, guys. <laughs> Wow, that's embarrassing. So we have these adorable little magnetic bookmarks of all our favorite characters. I really like this little art style. It looks like it's made by Idle Stuff and it's a Fairy Loot exclusive. I love this. Oh, it's a deck of cards. And it looks like they're inspired by the Fates, which if you guys have read Finale, then you'll know what the fates are and the fates cards kind of situation is. So the fates in the book seem to be more like tarot cards in my opinion, but I'm loving them transformed into this little deck of cards. You can never have enough playing cards. I honestly, I think I have one inspired by Throne of Glass that I got in a Throne of Glass hangover recovery kit and I'm kind of into having a whole collection of bookish playing cards. The character artwork is by Lexa Arts and the artwork on the back of the playing cards and the box is by Navarin Tail. Ooh, this sounds like jewelry. Okay, let's let's open it on up. Oh, that's so cute. It's an ace. I love how simple it is. This is perfect for me because I live in Vegas and obviously gambling is like Vegas's thing. And I like that it's really simple and not too like outlandish, but I almost would have loved if it had like the little finale like artwork on the back. That would have been too cute. It says, where it is a reminder that not everything is always as it seems. We think a certain fate would very much approve of it. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to spoil anyone, but that makes so much sense. Oh, it's a lip balm. I love lip balms. <laughs> I love how everything that I'm pulling out of this box, I'm like, oh, I love that. I love that. But like, I really do. I love lip balms. Oh my God. And it says a kiss worth dying for. It probably has like that minty smell that most book lip balms have. Oh no, it's sweet. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, I don't mind mint, but I like the smell way better. I have lip gloss on right now or else I would totally put it on. But don't worry, this is going in my purse. <laughs> it looks like the next thing in here is a book. Oh no, wait, 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 let's. <gasps> Guys, this art print, it's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. You can find Legend, Scarlet, Tella, and Julian depicted on this fun square art print that is designed by none other than by Morgana Zero Anagram and is exclusive to this box. I love her artwork. She is just incredible. They actually worked with her in like the last box that we unboxed in April and I loved the thing that she made then and I love this now. She's probably one of my favorite artists. Okay, okay, let's do the box, the box, the book because 
I'm kind of so excited. I've loved the Caraval and Legendary UK editions. I actually just haven't bought them, but I wanted to instead of the US ones. Like, the US ones are cute, but the UK ones are stunning. And obviously, Fairy Loot is a UK based company, so I have high hopes that it's gonna be kind of like those. All right, first let's grab all the little goodies because, you know, that's how we do it here. Okay, so the first thing in here looks like a letter from the author. And then on the back, it has, I think, a piece, or maybe the very first chapter of Finale, which, that's adorable. Okay, so we have a Donatella and Legendary bookmark, and this is so nice. It's a very thick, high quality bookmark. It looks so pretty. I'm gonna definitely use that while I'm reading the book. And then we have more little art prints. The bookmark's art is by Ars28. And we have their little character prints for Legend, Scarlet, Tella, Julian, and Jax. And they were painted by the talented at Nieru Sky. Look how freaking stunning. I, I'm, I'm speechless. These are beautiful. This artwork is beautiful. Legend looks amazing. Jax looks amazing. Donatella looks amazing. Scarlet looks like a babe. And, oh, his name is Julian. And Julian looks amazing. I love how now I remember his name. Okay, so, um, her boo, it's Julian. Guys, it's time for the book. <sighs> the big reveal. Oh, something fell. Oh, it's another bookmark. Oh, and it's Scarlet and Julian. They look really good. I was gonna say, like, I like the one of just like Donatella and Legend, but I really love my babies from Caraval. I think I said that I liked Legendary more than Caraval, but after I've thought about it for a really long time, I think I prefer Caraval to Legendary. They're both still really amazing, it's just Caraval just has a better story for me and I like the characters in it a little better. I was actually nervous going into Legendary because it wasn't who I wanted to be as the main characters, you know? I haven't looked yet, so now we're gonna look together because you guys have seen it but I haven't. Finale. Oh wow. It says a love worth fighting for, a dream worth dying for, an ending worth waiting for. This is so stunning. Oh my god. What the heck? This is so stunning! This is probably the prettiest book I own. Oh wow. I am so into this book. And look at this cover. I'm freaking amazed, guys. This was incredible. This box was out of this world. There were so many things in it, and I honestly loved every single thing in it. Collector's boxes already have that advantage over just normal monthly subscription boxes, and I love that they included so many different artists in this box. I just, I really don't know if I can pick any favorites. Like, the book? Stunning. So if we're not gonna count in the book in my absolute favorite thing in this box, I don't freaking know guys. I'm just like such a fan of all the artwork and I love just, I love all the pieces. Um, probably the blanket. The blanket has really impressed me. It's just super silky soft and very like well done and it's just really nice. But in general, my favorite part of this box was the art. All of the art. The art on the blanket, the art on the mug, the art on the freaking chapstick for crying out loud. It's a great finale. <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm just babbling at this point. I'm definitely just staring at all the new stuff and I'm just so excited about it. Thank you so much to Fairy Loot for giving me this box. I just didn't know how much I needed all this stuff in my life and now I have it and um, I'm never letting it go. So yeah, I can't wait to read Finale and tell you guys what I think of it. My heart, it's so cool. Let's actually look through this because <laughs> it was gonna tell us the different editions so it said what makes this edition of finale so special and it then it shows us the US edition the UK edition and the fairy loot edition and the fairy loot edition has an exclusive cover with rose gold foiling I prefer the finale cover of the fairy loot box and the UK one as much as I do like the UK one I think the actual one for fairy loot was much prettier I love how rose gold looks with black and then it has special black stencil sprayed edges. Can stencil sprayed edges just be the new thing? And, oh my god, it says it has a matching cover under the dust jacket. We have to check that out because I did not know that that was a thing. Guys, guys, 
Do you see this? It says the most magnificent things are worth living for. I'm in love. I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do with myself, you know? This is it, I quit. I quit buying books because none of them are ever gonna be as pretty as this one. Wow, uh, Fairy Loot truly outdid themselves and Again, thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you guys got your hands on this if you're a big fan of Caraval, and I hope that you enjoyed it just as much as I did because this unboxing is one of the best ones I've ever had. So there's that. You can tell too because I made very little sense throughout this entire video and I babbled a ton, so that means I really liked it. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. Beautiful creatures